there's actually a lot of different uh, Oracle networks. Uh, we're we're past several. Se we're past 700 Oracle networks now. I think we're going to be probably at a thousand this year and thousands next year. And each of those Oracle networks provides a distinct uh, singular kind of service. Many of those are around market data and price data and so on, but a lot of them are are, are actually for other types of data. So whether that's weather data for for decentralized crop insurance, or whether it's sports results. Or, or any number of other data sets. For example, relatively recently, we had the Associated Press um, announce launching an official chain link node, which will allow them to put inflation indicators, economic indicators, sports indicators, and election results on chain, which is obviously important for prediction markets and various other implementations. So, so generally speaking, I think there's an entire long tail of data that isn't market data that gives rise to entirely new use cases. And, and the funny thing is, creating this long tail is essentially solving a lot of small chicken and egg problems, right? Because until you have the data, you can't build that smart contract use case. And once you do build it, somebody becomes successful making it, and then other people build similar use cases. And then that creates a kind of virtuous cycle where there's an entire market appearing for um, you know, getting that data from the world, which is kind of what happened with DeFi, right? DeFi was a thing where there wasn't data on chain, data on chain appeared, and then DeFi began to grow and grow and grow. Uh, and and continues to grow into a larger and larger market at the rate that data can be put there.